everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you all the things that you could use to stabilize a seam. And this comes from a question I saw on panel review this morning where someone had asked, because she was going through her pattern instructions, can she use bias binding as stay tape to stay a seam? First up, we have stay tape. When a pattern says use stay tape to stabilize a seam on the fabric, this is pretty much what they're pertaining to unless otherwise stated. This is commonly used on woven fabrics. As you can see, it's like a web type of ribbon. It's see-through and it have all these little perforated holes in there. It's very light, it's very thin. It literally adds no bulk to your seam. The biggest feature about this is that it's very strong. It may look delicate, but this is not going anywhere when you try to stretch it. And then that's the other thing, it doesn't stretch. When you stitch on it, you'll be able to see straight through it and you'll be able to see the stitch that you're making and the stitch is not going to break the webbing. Now, even though it does not have any stretch, you can use it on the fabric, just as seen here at the armhole, at the shoulders, these places you don't really require stretch. Now, another good place that you could use it are on details such as pleats on a vertical seam. And the reason why that is, is because the seam is vertical, it does not require any stretching going up and down. So you could use it in a situation just like this. This is quarter inch elastic, everyday quarter inch elastic. I have seen them use three eighth inch elastic and half inch elastic to stay knit fabrics. One of the reasons why pattern instructions will want you to use elastic is for staying, stabilizing, or gathering a part of the actual pattern. This is a simplicity top that I made a little while ago, as some of you guys probably already know. And this is the center of the shawl collar. And what's going on here is that when you add in that elastic, and you let it go, it bunches up and create this gathered effect. Um, it creates that gather effect, but it also stays that seam. This is bias binding. Bias binding is generally used to enclose seams. This is not really used for staying a seam, but you can if you don't have anything else like stay tape to use. Bias binding usually come folded like this, but you can cut it down the center, open it out, lay it flat. It's not going to be as light as the stay tape, but it is very, very light and it is a good option in a pinch. Now the next thing you could use if you don't have any stay tape is twill tape. If you don't have twill tape but you have some cross grain ribbon on hand or any type of ribbon that is not too slippery or too smooth and thin, you could also use that. This is a McCall's dress I made um, a couple years ago and it was pretty much the same thing. I didn't have any stay tape that I could use and I had some of this on hand. And as you can see here, those are vertical seams, so they require no up and down stretch. And last, we have the clear elastic, which is my favorite way to stay knit fabrics at places that require stretch. And this is a comparison to the regular stay tape and the clear elastic. The clear elastic is just a little bit heavier because of course it's a plastic 
so it's going to have a little weight but they are very very light i would use this for wovens and this for knits and as i said this for knits at places that need stretch and this for places that does not require any type of stretch so i hope this will help someone who is wondering what to use to stay their seams when the pattern instructions call for it now out of all of these as i've already established this one you do not use unless you have nothing else that could work these three you should always have on hand this for wovens and all three for knits. So I hope that this helped. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.